did my best But I guess my best wasn't good enough Cause here we are back where we were before You see nothing ever changes We back to being strangers Wondering if we thought we got We haven't got just absolutely incredible. Please welcome to the show the incredible Craig Lucas and Robert Peters. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, just the perfection <laughs> and the beauty that comes out of your voices. Welcome to the show. Thank, Thank you. you. So good to have you. Thank you so what much. What an absolute treat. That's how all Tuesday should end. <laughs> So the past two to three years of both of your lives have been busy. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy busy, so to speak. Let's start with you. How, I mean, how's your life changed? <laughs> um, dramatically, I was studying economics prior to entering The Voice. I won The Voice, um, got to be a full-time singer, and so now I get to travel, make music, which has always been my first yeah. love come perform on shows like these, um, yeah. it's been incredible. And you know what the best part of economics is? Is, and I always think, and why well, education is like literally the most important thing mm -hmm. to me, I think when you learn to be an artist and when you are an artist, nobody teaches you how to run the business of art. Yep. And now you know. Absolutely. Which is why you are just killing it in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Your last two to three years, it's, wow. It's been crazy, it's Tell been me, crazy. Take me through that No, I, I, Firstly, I didn't think that my life would change this way yeah. at all. I didn't think that I would be singing for a living. I mean, we grew up with that mindset that we can't do music for a living, but here we are. We're doing yeah. it, we're doing it. It's not easy. Yeah. Um, no. we've, we've overcome a lot of things in this past two to three years, yeah. but we've learned a lot, and we know how to work in the industry, and we know yeah. how to deal with the music business. Yeah. I think that's yeah. been the important part. One of my favorite quotes, baby, will it be easy? No. <laughs> Never. Will it be worth it? Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, Craig, I, every time I see you, it takes me back to a couple of years ago when I had finished, I had like ended a relationship and I was driving <laughs> and the smothered was on the, smothered was on the radio and I just, I mean, that was on repeat for me. Yeah. It was the soundtrack <laughs> to a breaker for me. And the, I mean, where does that come from? Yeah, wh wh what are you thinking about when that, that sound comes out of your <laughs> voice, that it sounds like it's aching? Mm -hmm. Where um, does that come from? It was at the time I grabbed from my heart and I'd also been going through some relationship things. Yeah. And so when you get to sing music that you've written that come from experience, yeah. it just naturally happens so that you emote what you sing. And 
the best part of that song was people telling me stories like these. You you never think you're going to write a song that touches somebody else because you yeah. I wrote it for me. Yeah. Um, and then to hear that so Not, many people According relate. to me, you wrote it for me. <laughs> 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 it took me through so much. But I always, mm -hmm. like music, I think, is the most important thing in the world. Mm -hmm. Energetically, it just carries you to places that can heal, that can help, that can soften, that can bring happiness and light or sadness and whatever to your life. Mm -hmm. So just, like, I always think, oh, I want to know the person who's saying that. And the two of you have got these voices that can make you feel so so much which brings me to our next question how'd you meet so Robin and I met through a mutual friend and okay. at the time he was telling me knew this guy that was in the industry that was a singer yes. and so I'd gotten Robin's number and I'd I'd always just wanted to be a songwriter oh. yeah and so I sent Robin a bunch of songs that I'd written and he just blue ticked me oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and can I just say one of the songs was smother <laughs> So, <laughs> one of the songs. So then, um, sure. but then you was in the voice season one. Yeah. And yeah. How, how did you, I don't understand how that worked actually, but you so, had to send so, in names, so I, miss, right? I had to send the names and then I messaged him. I thought you were going to win, actually, oh, in the voice season one. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so I messaged him and I was like, dude, do you want to enter? Yeah. So he was like, no. The first answer yeah. was no. And then he came back after a while and said, I'm going to enter. Mm -hmm. okay. And so yeah. had we met by then? We probably hadn't even met in person. I think we just had each other's numbers, right? So yeah. We just blue ticking each other. <laughs> <laughs> and then how did the actual friendship and the, and the collaboration ultimately mm -hmm. begin? For me, it was, so I started in the industry not having any experience. And then there was Robin, yeah. who'd been working for a mm -hmm. while. And I thought he'd just be somebody cool to align myself with, to learn from. Yeah. Because um, I just, I didn't know anything, you know. I was going in head first. Yeah. Um, and and I, I, see, I, I seem to remember that you, that you had struggled with it a little bit. Like yeah. You weren't having such a cool time. Yeah. You weren't, I remember when I connected with you, you weren't enjoying it. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, th and that's where it's difficult, when you're not enjoying the, the music. So yeah. well, what happened for you to kind of turn that around and then start loving it again? I think I just needed to find balance. So for me, it was, I'd gotten this amazing opportunity now. I just needed to work as hard as possible but I, I got burnt out really quickly. I was always traveling and never got to see my family and my friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was always forced into these social settings. I'm a bit of an introvert and so yeah. it was exhausting, you know, and I, I had to force myself to find balance and that only happened when I hit rock bottom. I was like, look, I can't yeah. carry on working and doing the things I've been doing. Yeah. So I stopped for a bit, breathe, and I was like, look, for me to love what I do, which I love music, I just needed to learn yeah. how to balance everything and find sure. a place for everything. Well, that's why this collab works so nicely for me. Obviously, this is all about me. Because you are <laughs> like an introvert in there. You are not. Yeah, yeah. no, no, no. I'm telling you like an easy issue. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm the one who often we have... <laughs> this is the thing. So a lot of people uh, has been speaking, like, whenever someone says something bad about the show, whatever, and I, I go for it. That's true. And I put you in line and I tell you, hey, blah, blah, blah. He's not that type of person. <laughs> so I will do it on behalf of the <laughs> And he was like, but I haven't been saying anything. But I said, I will do it anyway because that's just my nature. I'm, I'm just very really straightforward. No, and, it's such a yeah. good combo. Are you only friends? <laughs> yeah, yeah. We are. Yeah, we are. Um, everybody <laughs> seems to think differently. Yeah, yeah. I know, I did. <laughs> Listen, yeah. everybody does. Yeah. So, no, I actually can't stand Robin. So. Yeah, and the same here. Okay. It's just the working. Yeah. Okay. Um, I never want to see him after and mask again. We're going to be deleting pictures. <laughs> I don't want any Craig Lucas on my social media anymore. Uh, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> okay, tell me about the unmasked masquerade. Cool. Uh, uh, should I go? So uh, we wanted to do something very different and we wanted people to dress up like they're going to the opera with ball gowns and tux yes. and, and have a mask and, and an experience. So we've got um, a red carpet at 6 o'clock till 6.30 yeah. and then we've got drinks on arrival from 6.30 yeah. till 7 and the show begins at 7 till 8 and the masquerade ball starts oh, at 8 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... We'd, we'd almost just set out to make everybody feel like VIPs yeah. and feel really yeah. special because people come to our shows and they support us. Yeah. And I think the only way we know to say thank you is through music yeah. and we're like let's put on a show yeah. that's going to make everybody feel so good about themselves so coming everybody's going to look good um the show is going to be good so yeah. we'd be quite excited what an absolutely beautiful idea i can't wait unmasked masquerade it reminds me of you know those old james bond movies mm. yeah. when you see people going to the, ca the casino in like a ball gown so this is going to be really really sensational mm -hmm. what can people expect to see Definitely big ballads. Um, yeah. Also songs that mean a lot to us. That, yeah. we, that, that was the breakthrough in our careers. Um, we're going to be concentrating on that. And then we've got a beautiful choir and a beautiful band. Stunning. And we've, it's, it's just, every, 
everything about this show is extra. Yeah. Good. It's extra. Because yeah. that's good. how I am. <laughs> well, extra. the good news for you, everything about this show is extra. <laughs> that's how I am. <laughs> so join us after the break as we get into a tasty ground nut chicken and jollof right rice recipe with two of South Africa's most incredible singers. Hopefully they can cook as well as they can sing. <laughs> we'll be right back. Yay! <laughs> 